The most recent eruption of the Sundunka craters of the Swartzeng volcanic system is now very interestingly formed a series of craters, a chain of craters, like what we had previously as Sundunka chain of craters. Uh, we have two groups of them. There's a north fissure which erupted first and the south fissure which erupted second. This is the moment that the first uh, fissure was opened and the second fissure opened to the right side of it toward the south. That's it. And now you can see them to the right or the second fissure and to the left or the first fissure. And as you can see, they are erupting yet they are forming large craters. My estimate is that uh, the largest one of these have a height of 20 to 25 meters. Uh, this is the north craters, the first ones. And uh, the second ones you will see in a few seconds. I will show you that. Uh, as you can see, they are grown bigger, but because they are on that side forming the lava flow, we see the back of them. These are the south ones. We see the front of them where the lava flowing outward toward the uh, east Grindavik and toward the sea. And these are the larger one probably, but uh, they're a little bit on the lower ground. And uh, the lava flow is very clearly visible in this uh, time lapse that I've created. You can see that they're forming something what we saw in the Meridale craters, but eventually they will fix the wall. And they have collapses probably in, in the meantime, wall collapses. And as they grow bigger, Eventually, they cannot hold the walls and we will have, uh, you know, uh, collapses, ruptures, uh, again, formation of the caves like what we see in the Littricotors uh, volcano and the similar things like that here. This is a clear example in the Littricotors, we had a cave. This is the shape of the fissures, as you can see here, and the lava flow, the red part shows the movement since the first day of the eruption. And as they, as they go, they are just 200 meters, the southernmost part of it, from the road and from the sea, around 300 meters. There is no earthquakes much now in that region. That means the magma is flowing easily to the surface. Is a equilibrium reached there, a stable. There is no impact or friction between the blocks of the rift valley. And so they move freely. The seal is open and directly leads from the reservoir in the Swartzengi toward the uh, dike system and erupts to the surface as you could see it. It's a very interesting phenomenon. It may grow bigger, it's stable at the moment. Any moment is adding to its mass and height.